What's going on guys, it's your boy Cash, and I'm actually re-recording this because <laughs> I was rambling my boys and girls, man. It was crazy. So this, this actually was more intricate than I thought it was. I didn't think it would be as intricate, so I went in there. Oh, I'll, I'll probably explain like how to do this hard hell, epic hell. I'm thinking it's gonna be one of those things where you just kind of, you just do it, and then once you figure out hard, you know how to do uh, hell and epic hell, stuff like that. So I clicked on it, and I'm like, okay. Then I saw that there were three teams. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? So I thought it was like, okay, it must be one of those things where it's like the other thing within the guild where you just pick three teams and then there's like a cinematic that happens and everything's good to go. But no, that's not the case. There's actually a boss guide and each team has to fight an individual like kind of scenario. So I could read all this out to you, but I'm going to pretty much summarize it because I pretty much already did this video. I'm just re-recording it just so in a more simplistic way. So pretty much the first phase what you want to have, as you see, you can read it right there, it's on the screen. Uh, but the first phase, pretty much what you want to have is single attack heroes. Uh, you're going to kind of want something to cleanse. You kind of want cleanse maybe kind of throughout, but I didn't realize that you're only going to have three slots. So that's really difficult uh, for, based off what they're what they're doing here. You're only going to have three slots. Don't worry about this team. It's just I was just putting something there to keep myself a reminder. So single attack heroes are kind of like what you want. And uh, you want to want some immunity cleanse, kind of stuff like that. And in essence you want to stun this guy they he pretty much has a lot of health he has very high health so killing him is almost they're, they're pretty much telling you that it's really hard to kill it so you want to stun it or keep pushing it back and things of that nature now keep in mind that this thing is grass like the main boss is grass so i assume like oh you have to use fire characters and i just tested it out here like you actually don't need fire characters you can actually put water in here if you want to but he's still going to be grass so his elemental thing is still going to be important so i think you have to keep that in mind other thing that i wanted to test out was here grants enhanced element buff to all heroes so as you can see here the more of one hero that you have the more bonus you're going to get uh, this one it looks like it's going to be speed this one it looks like you're going to be hp this one is going to be attack now i also try to see this one this is why like, fire because i want to see if it's the same but no each one has its own different thing and there's a reason for that so this one you have the speed one and the next one is going to be a second phase so i will read out what this guy does because i have to read it out again but it does change depending on uh what phase you're in now the phase thing i'm going to explain this really quickly too is uh the phase is that when he goes 70 percent health he's going to go into phase two then your second team comes in and then uh when the when he goes into phase uh three you know the third team comes in and it's just based on his health so 70 and then after 40 he goes into the next phase so just keep that in mind as well so you got to be balancing all this stuff out they also have his immunity information which is pretty cool so you can see what you can uh what you can inflict on him you can't inflict stun restrict sleep provoke you can't poison him you can't silence him uh, you can see as you see bleeds and burns are perfectly fine You can't give him stigma and you can't give him redirected provoke. Let's read his other skills as well This one seems to be common actually It's better to do it from this screen actually from the boss screen because it, it actually gives you each phase So this one pretty much like depending on his health as you can see retaliation HP uh, When it's less than 70 he gets that counter attack mana is when he's in the last phase uh, As you can see there it, it really depends on what phase he's in and how you actually dispel it phase one during phase one when an ally except for the caster's attack the fourth time by a single attack that's why the first one you want to have single attacks this buff gets dispelled uh and that's kind of why you want to do that same thing with the, the counter attack phase which is going to be in the last phase during phase uh, sorry during phase two when an attack from the fourth time by a single attack with three or more debuffs while having three or more debuffs it, it's very specific all right it's just, just stay with me here it's it's it's, it's actually kind of complicated like once i read the like it's kind of crazy right so for the phase one and throughout all the phases i've seen there's a lot of uh decreasing of combat readiness also they have stigma and their attacks have these decreased combat readiness so it's very important to keep your characters uh from getting hit from that that's why i kind of like fire because the mischance goes up a little bit uh, if you bring in water, then you might not even land your stuff. So I think that bringing in fire as much as you can is probably the best way to go so they can at least miss every once in a while. Uh, so, but he has this attack two enemies and increase stigma. Then he has this ignores hit chance and effect resistance of an enemy with the highest attack and inflicts decaying curse. So again, that's one of those things where it's like, he's going to put most likely put this on you anyway, decrease the attack and crit chance, right? In hell difficulty or above. Uh, decreases it by both of those by an additional 30% lowers your thing by 50% and lowers your critical hit by 50% You want to get this off you But the problem is that in order to get this off of you I think you have to use a non-attack skill if, Yeah, it will be dispelled after using a non-attack skill So that's really hard and he is targeting your highest attack character. What are the odds that your highest attack character? 
also has a non-attack skill probably not that much there's not that many options in that in that regard so uh this skill also starts off the battle with no cooldown and then as you can see the dark branch uh before activating dark branch he puts that on you then activates dark branch dark branch attacks all enemies decreasing their common readiness by 15 percent and then 75 percent ch chance to inflict stigma so what what's really important i think also with this single attack one phase one is having counter attack i think counter attack is really big here i think that it allows you to uh, ignore that also having a character that may not necessarily rely too much on attack so having hp scaling units defense scaling units i think is also pretty good critical chance obviously that's another way you can get around it because crit is uh there's certain characters like high high young uh Ilanav, characters like that that are going to be able to get around uh, the fact of those two the thing well she gets around not having attack she scales off HP but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying there's other ways like or can uh, there's other ways to get around this stuff and still be able to deal out good damage without having to worry about the debuffs that he's laying on you we already read this so phase two he loses all the stuff he sacrifices the other the Silva thing that's with him and then he goes into phase two and brings out mushrooms so this one is takes the first turn at the start of battle uses destructive wave uses this immediately right in the beginning of the battle summoning two black ash silvas they can be summoned only once per battle so you once if they happen to die if you're able to kill them then you know you don't have to worry about them anymore at the end of someone's turn it inflicts additional damage equal to 10 percent of the enemy's current health on enemies with afflicted with stigma again you really want to have cleanse you don't want to be stigma on this in spite you're going to start taking unnecessary damage now the silva here is a regular kind of like enemy but they say it has high hp i do like that they do have defense break on this so if you do have a debuff transfer you could kind of like put that on there i think corvus has that corvus has a defense uh sorry debuff transfer obviously so does the other guy as well uh zarado champion zarado has that but then you're gonna have to or want to run a full dark team here so again i'm trying to do mostly fire because i think that fire is the most beneficial thing to bring in here but you know you might not have those options you know just think about what they're asking you to do and then apply that the best way that you can so that's phase one and then once you bring them down below 70 percent then phase two is going to start and it actually changes what you're going to want here is aoe attacks instead so one first single attacks second one's going to be aoe attacks attacks you're gonna want to have not that many buffs in your characters and you're gonna want to do as many debuffs on them as possible uh, and that's going to be what's written here when attack with an enemy that has buffs increases its combat readiness so the main boss at combat readiness any activates a extra attack uh, which you don't want because his basic attack is what's putting out stigma and stuff like that so you kind of don't want him doing that multiple times uh, decreasing your combat readiness you don't want that kind of you don't want to keep getting pushed back and back and back and back unless like i said you have some type of counter attack measure which in the third phase they don't want you to do that uh, a little bit of a spoiler they don't want you doing that too too much and the dust mushrooms are those annoying dust mushrooms that actually self-destruct uh, which is annoying so that's why they recommend you to aoe hit them like he does summon three of them uh, when he goes into this phase he summons three so that's kind of like why you want to really take them out and their self-destruct i'll read this here is it's based on their health right so the lower hp that these guys have even if you don't kill them the better off you're going to be so fire aoe you can see <laughs> i was just looking for like aoe-esque characters that had debuffs uh, i didn't get too far i have like carrot uh she does some stuff unfortunately a lot of characters especially newer like they, that was kind of like the buff that they gave a lot of characters is they get buffs for no random reason tenebria gives an attack buff uh mercedes random ran, gives herself an attack buff so it's it's a little annoying but i i feel like certain buffs you won't mind like immunity would be a good buff i think that like immunity or defense buff even though he'll get counter attacks in there i think that it'll still be important to have those buffs on your side it might outweigh the damage that is if that is going for that extra attack if that makes sense to you guys hope last but not least is going to be the last oh yeah wait sorry i'm skipping ahead so he does have different skills in this phase so now oh no this is the first one okay destructive vine right so now it's uh destructive mana like it, it, it changes slightly this attacks all people stackable defense break it's very annoying you want to stay in out there and it summons two dust mushrooms he if if you read number one when he comes into that phase he summons uh three so he does have a skill to keep summoning them so you want to be able to and summons two right so he's going to be able to keep summoning them even if you happen to kill them but you want to keep being able to kill them that's why they're saying fire aoe or not fire AOE, but aoe in general constantly to get them and then last but not least it's going to be phase three where this one's weird so you don't want to do debuff you don't want to debuff them at all you want your characters to do a bunch of buffs and because of this last thing, they're trying to get remote you. Since the monster, where is it? If the monster is the, if the monster is debuffed, they will do a bunch of additional attacks. Also, we'll use an extra attack when a, use uh, attacks by extra attacks. So I think dual attacks, counter attacks. 
um, or when like how Jacko does a, a, a additional attack or so they are trying to tell you to get away from that so they don't want you bringing in Charles with the Elbrus that's kind of stopping that but this one I think is, is easy you just have to bring in a bunch of uh, characters that do a bunch of buffs and they're already giving you an attack buff as well so you don't you know you can probably go through this pretty pretty good and no debuff so you just want to have in see that's why I shouldn't have Charles in there <laughs> Charles actually breaks the rules he's he counterattacks an attack break he has an attack break on his auto like it's he's not supposed to be there but i just wanted to see his, how that would work so that is these this entire thing what is nice about this is that the the enemies the side enemy guy light and dark or the in this case dark so you can if you wanted to bring in uh, maybe another character that can just deal with them specifically and not have the other two characters and the other two characters can kind of focus on the boss for these side uh things so like this one they recommend that you stun him so maybe bring someone in like jacko or bring in someone that has a uh stun a reliable stun and then just have that person on there maybe these bonuses here like this is three let me just bring in a random character it's 20 percent, so it goes 10 20 40 so maybe 20 percent is good enough maybe you don't need to actually go into you know all that because half of the characters especially people that have well-established accounts they're probably not going to need even any of these bonuses they pro they might just say you know what i'm gonna go in with these units because they deal with the, the 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 gimmick of the boss stronger than having uh this one is speed you know speed this one's hp this one's attack like they might just you might don't even need these bonuses so keep that in mind as well these are just stuff to help my in, specifically a person like me or anyone that doesn't have a, a crazy established account i'm sure that there's plenty of people that are going to blow through this in two seconds uh but this is helpful for people like me that don't have super strong units that can utilize the counter gimmick to win the fight i'm just gonna run it like this just so we can so i can have it in the film of like actually trying as you can see i have enough um <laughs> i have enough stigma to really like do it for eight years oh there's actually a story uh you are the ones that change i mean okay not really a story all right <laughs> so let's see those are the two ones that he summons boom starting off right at the thing and this is the issue look at that they have Wait, I didn't actually want to use Akanti. <laughs> she has no runes. She's also level 50. So as you can see, that ha he has like over 100,000 HP. So pretty much, yeah, you're not killing that. You probably just want to, like I said, stun them like they said. So my a AOE stigma. So I'm really going to be screwed here to... Uh... Yep, and since I didn't dispel the stigma, we're taking damage every single turn. And then these guys have cleanse. And it keeps getting the K curse. Here goes the stigma. That was bad. <laughs> Hold on, I didn't mean to bring her in. Get a good look at these fists. See, this is what I meant like by HP scaling units are not that bad. Because he has that buff, I can't get it off of him. And he's still doing good damage. So I think that that's really important. It should be good. Alright, entering from force an enemy to change teams. There we go. Oh, it has an animation for it. Cool. And now your other team is in there now. Alright, shall we clean up? Oh, and the stigma that you have. So that's actually important to know too. My villager doesn't do damage. He's he's on a life still set, so don't expect anything. Oh, there it is, that stupid, Shall we begin? those stupid things, man. And see, now they, they keep coming back. Cool. And as you can see, I, I lost two times. I'm editing it, but I lost two times, and uh, they don't take your energy unless you actually, <laughs> you, you know, you actually get a successful run, which is awesome. Let's start with something light. This team worked out fantastic for phase two. <laughs> Cause the stigma actually, funny enough, even though I can't put it on him, it, as long as I hit one of the mushrooms, it's fine. And then Yuna gives me a decent push. He doesn't, I, I could use this if I want to, but you know, I, I'm opting not to. And just utilizing it without it. Even though she's water, 
uh, so is Seaside Bologna, but they just do too much damage. At least on my account. See, she just missed right there. But it will kill these other guys. And then it's just him by himself. About to see, probably need more healing here, but I like it. And this one is until he gets down to 40. See, a little bit too... There we go, phase three. Definitely could do that better, but... And this is the one where... That is ill-advised. See, he counterattacks. Oh yeah, I forgot my Vivian has no runes. Uh, gear, whatever you call it nowadays. Oh yeah, they're both on counterattack. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. I want to retire already. This is my team three. Lead the way. Step back, flies. Enjoy the pain. It'll be the last thing you feel. I was born to fight. Wait, what happened to it? Wait. Die, insect. Step back, flies. Stop bothering me. Perish. Okay, so that damage is real. <laughs> damage is real. If you don't have buffs. A few moments later. Okay. Oh, come on. Bring it home. Two of these. He hits me. That's fine. That's fine. Step back. And this should do it. Please. bothering me. Perish. Oh. You're annoying. So annoying. Another thing I wanted to say is that uh, that last thing, oh, there's an MVP from each uh, thing. Yeah, I changed my team on the team one. <laughs> I changed it up. Because I noticed that Ray, uh, his S1 gets reduced if they're all Earth. So I said, let me just change it. And then this is the team two, and then this is my team three. Very interesting. I, I probably can't do next difficulty. That, as you can see, that I'm down to the wire. These two teams actually are pretty fine, but it's this team right here. Uh, which is very interesting and I wanted to point this out uh, just so you guys are aware is that this thing uh, it does extra damage if you don't have two buffs you can only thing that does extra damage if you don't have two buffs is that his final skill or something like that so you only need to use like I brought in Deanne here and then I just use her s3 when he's about to do his s3 his mega move and then that was better than me trying to keep buffs up the entire time so I hope that that would help you guys just use the time that a little bit better and you'll be in a way better position than sitting there trying to use uh, buffs all the time and then keep the buffs. You don't need to do that. Just keep the buffs up when he's about to do that move. Another thing is that this uh, scaling thing, which I, I didn't mention it, or not that I didn't mention it, is that it actually keeps, he keeps this the entire time. So like he, uh, through team one, two, and three, so the less times that you have to hit him, the better. So like if you can go team uh, the first two phases hitting him like two times, which is I'm pretty sure you really can't do that. But for example, it's better at that end at team three. He was at like uh, times 30 or times 40 or some nonsense like that, which means that he's incredibly fast. He's doing a lot of damage and it will help you on the teams that you're weaker. So whatever phase that you're really good at, obviously put your best just bulldoze through it and uh, make sure that that is because at team three, they're gonna be screwed. That's why they get an attack buff, I think. That's why uh, if I just think back here, this one's attack. So that's probably why they want you to finish that off. But I really wanted to have fun. I love explaining stuff like this. So if you guys, uh, if this helped you in some type of way, easier for people that have been playing the entire time, but for people coming back to the game, this is gonna definitely be a challenge for you. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new. Old comment. You should comment regardless and like if you, I'm talking about the subscribe, subscribe, damn it. Actually, I have about a 50% rate on that. So most people that watch my videos are OG. So shout out to you guys. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.